Okay guys, so uh, we're continuing a setup with this liveaboard um, Marinette, 32 foot Marinette. And let me show you what I got for solar equipment. I've been collecting this for a little while and uh, she's coming together. Okay, so this is my monitoring screen. Everything I got from uh, is from Renogy. Here's the model numbers. That's the control screen. Um, I've got the 50 amp DC DC charger, charge controller. And the nice thing about this one is model number, uh, dual input, 50 amp, MPPT. And the nice one about this one is you can actually connect it to your house bat or your starting batteries and it'll draw a 25 amp from your alternator when you're actually running and charge your house batteries uh, it also do the solar panels um, that's output to your uh, house bank and it also has a starting battery tender so when you're on solar it'll uh, top up your starting batteries so I think that will do just fine. So that's that. Oh, forgot to put that back. But and then here I have a 2,000 watt. As I said, everything's by uh, Renogy. This is the uh, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now the reason I went with this particular one is because it has grid tie. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to connect to the, um, uh, the gen set input on the inverter on the boat uh, to install this because it's got the connections on the side for uh, your grid tie. So that's that. Get this all back here. Um, this is the on off switch for the inverter. It's out of the bag because I've already done this video and something failed. <laughs> the joys of making YouTube videos <laughs> okay so let me show you what I got for uh, uh, solar equipment or solar panels so I'm just starting that because they just kinda went on sale um, so this is the 175 watt um, Renogy monocrystalline panels. Um, they were on sale for 206 bucks or something like that. Um, I still have to get two more <coughs> and that'll be fine. It'll be, uh, you know, five, six hundred, uh, uh, watts of, uh, solar power. And then I'll eventually add maybe another panel down the road, but I have, a ongoing cart on the Renogy website I've just been ordering as money comes in so that's that uh, what do we got here <coughs> so if you guys are wondering where I'm going to be mounting these panels um, on the back of the boat the rear bimini I'm going to be building solid aluminum across the top, uh, held up by stainless steel. Um, our scrapyard, uh, they do city buses, so the, the really heavy-duty handrails, I'm going to cut them off to make the um, post to hold up the rear um, deck, let's say, above the uh, rear deck. And... Uh, so it'll hold three panels. I've done the measurements. It'll hold three panels up there. And uh, 
still have room to get up to the fly bridge through it through the hatch so I'm gonna remove the rear bimini totally and go solid right across the top uh, just do it out of aluminum and stainless but yeah everything's slowly coming together I'm gonna make this happen so yeah in three years I'll be able to stick with my plan and head south for the winters and back up here for the summers because I just got to cut across Lake Erie, go to the Erie Canal, Erie Canal to Albany, New York, down the Hudson, New York, get on the ICW, and south I come, right? And plus the in the south there's like tens of thousands of navigatable uh, waterways, so I'd love to actually travel a lot of that and just explore new places, right? Uh, that's why I want to convert the boat to diesels because I plan on doing a lot of traveling with it because right now I think I get one and a half miles per gallon <laughs> so see if we can bump that up a little bit <laughs> all right cheers guys uh, yeah thanks for coming along to the build and as soon as I get back to the boat uh, it's pissing rain right now what you don't know is I've been commuting from the boat uh, here back to London, which is an hour, hour and change ride. I've been commuting every day to go to work. So, uh, yeah, I've just been stuck here because of the rain. Um, rode here last or last night to work in the rain, but that didn't matter. But yeah, so if I have to, I'll be heading back to the boat in the rain because I've got the next few days off. <laughs> I'm styling now. <laughs> So, yeah. So this is all gonna just stay in the shop until I get the the rear built, um, set up the solar panels, the charge controller, inverter, everything else I need. Um, yeah, it's slowly coming together, but it's been a lot to pay for, so slowly plodding away, getting piece by piece. All right, cheers guys, and uh, yeah, welcome to the build. <laughs>